Hurricane Milton, it exploded from a Category 1 storm into a Category 5 in just a matter of hours. The reason for this rapid intensification, well, it appears to be climate change, and it is likely a disturbing trend when it comes to future hurricane seasons. And who better to talk about the effects of climate change than the science guy himself, Bill Nye. Uh, Bill, thank you so much for joining us, as always. I would love to, if I can, just have you sort of pick up where the mayor left off. I mean, he says he has been through this again and again, never seen anything like this storm. I feel like we hear that from people in hurricane-prone areas a lot. We know things can be bad. We're used to hurricanes, but not like these. Talk to us about the science here. How do we know this is definitely an issue? Helene, and now this, uh, related to climate change, that we are, yes, we've always had hurricanes, but it is different now in the intensity and the speed they're developing, and that is directly related to climate change, right? Uh, yeah, because it's the, the temperature of the sea surface. They're in the Atlantic uh, to the east of Florida and in the Gulf of Mexico on the west side of Florida, these temperatures are much higher than they've been in recorded history uh, for, a, for a long, for a number of weeks, uh, more than ever. And so these storms are consistent with the predictions when you uh, run the computer models associated with having a very warm sea surface. Plus, this storm is coming from the southwest and going toward the northeast instead of from, for example, the southeast going to the northwest. And so it's taking advantage, or rather, it is being affected by the loop current. There's a Florida current, and then there's a loop current that spins off it. And these two um, uh, bodies of water moving are contributing to the transfer of heat into this system. So the deal is when the ocean is warm, Cool air, and the word cool, relatively cool air, squeezes the warm air up. The warm air goes up, it expands, and it falls back down. And when it's doing that on such an enormous area that we have with this storm, uh, Milton, it starts to spin. And this is because of the spin of Earth and uh, gravity. These com The combination of these two forces causes the thing to spin. All right, here's why it's so deadly, everybody, is the wind speed. The wind speed, uh, the force of uh, wind or moving air goes as the square of the speed. So if you increase the speed 10%, you increase the force 20%, and you increase the power, which is uh, the energy uh, being carried by the velocity, by the speed, it goes as the cube of the wind speed. So you increase the wind speed a little bit and it becomes increasingly destructive. And you know, this category one, two, three, four, five, six, this is based on the wind speed and on civil engineering assessments of how much damage it does. They, they uh, for many years, engineers went back and looked at how the buildings were knocked down and that helped influence and create the, this category system that we use now. And in uh, a recent publication by the National Academy of Sciences, it's been proposed that there will soon be a category six. And people argue that category six storms have already occurred uh, on the open ocean. When you're talking about these different forces from the sort of steam, I guess, if I could describe it as that, that comes off of these warmer waters to just the way the earth is moving, the gravity, all of those factors, are we also seeing those things impact and cause more issues in other weather-related events beyond just hurricanes? Well, when you can see the thing about hurricane, when it gets big enough to start to spin, when this thing, the Coriolis force starts making it spin, then along with its uh, <clears throat> uh, southwest to northeast motion, it's got these wind speeds that are extraordinary, and they fetch up <clears throat> water on the sea surface and create this so-called storm surge. And the low pressure associated with the storm causes uh, the ocean to, to rush in or be drawn in to this low pressure area under the storm. And these three things combined to make it the, the most dangerous thing is generally is the storm surge, this, these enormous high water events mm -hmm. that knock buildings down. And, um, and of course, if you can't get out of the way, it's, it's um, hard to stay afloat. Mm -hmm. And as people have said, when the winds get this mm -hmm. 
high. The, everything becomes a projectile, a missile, mm. and you cannot see it coming. You cannot get out of the way. And so uh, that's why everybody's trying to get people to evacuate. Now, I'll just say one more thing, Allison, do we have a moment? Yeah, go right Everybody, ahead. If you have young people in your family or your extended family, people you know, just try to get them to vote, okay? Well, I have worked very hard for many years to be political and not partisan. Like I'm trying to evaluate the science and let's make decisions based on the science. But right now we have one political party who is aggressively ignoring uh, the warming ocean, the rising ocean, the, the size and frequency of these storms. And that is not in anybody's best interest. So uh, we'll get through this and I wish everybody the best. Our hearts go out to you all. I mean, this, you've been through this over and over and we will support you, of course. But uh, the action to take in the next month or so is to vote to vote with the climate in mind. Uh, thank you. All right, Bill Nye, thank you. We appreciate your time and insights as always. You are a national treasure to say the least and we appreciate you being here, especially in difficult times like this. Thank you. These are difficult times. Uh, be very careful everybody and take the emergency services advice. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.